better with wine. Well, some things you just better together. Laverne and Shirley. <laughs> Yes. Chocolate and wine. Especially, yeah. Uh, me and Jeff. I mean, we're, you know, we just, yeah. And the right, right, eh, except Friday. We yelled at each other. Anyway, the right pairing can make all the difference. Please join us uh, in welcoming back the wine diva, Leslie Miller, everybody. Yeah. Pairing the wine and chocolate. Hello, love. Hello. How are you doing? Yeah, are you Laverne or are you Shirley? Because I was obsessed with Laverne. I'm Shirley. Laverne. Oh, yeah. Shirley. I'm, yeah. Uh, yeah, are so you Shirley? I have a boo boo kitty. Do you have a boo boo kitty? I do have a boo boo kitty. All the young people yeah. right now <laughs> are, are like, what is going on here? Yeah. But yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you're Shirley Feeney. Yeah. Anyway, how okay. you doing? Good, good. Okay, so we're mixing. Uh, this is a tried and true. This is, and you know, this is, I have this conversation come up so many times when I teach classics because everybody's like, oh, I love a dark red with a dark chocolate. And the reality is, is that there's also tannins in chocolate as there are in red wines, big red wines, and those two things actually collide. Oh. So they're not the match made in heaven. So a dark, like a red, red wine doesn't necessarily go with chocolate. If your brain wants it to go together, let me tell you, it's gonna go together, girl. Okay, yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. Is. the it heart is. wants what yes. the heart wants. It yeah, does, yeah. Yes. Okay, where are we starting? So we're gonna start with some citrus or some ginger. Let's say you have like fruiter, like lighter fruit notes in your chocolate. Um, I suggest to go along with Gewürztraminer. You love this word. Okay, I you can never this pronounce word. this. Gemer, what is it? Gewürztraminer. Gewürztraminer. <laughs> Gewürztraminer. Right? Yeah. Am I close? Close. Okay, that's yeah. fine. Y'all just go to the store and ask for Gewürztraminer. There we go. There it is right here. Yeah. This is actually a dry version, but it has a lot of ginger notes to it, a lot of citrus notes to it, and that with a little ginger or a citrus chocolate actually go together so well. Oh, this is, yeah. Isn't this so, it's I like, like a, this one. It's like a dry key lime pie, kind of, that wine. Sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I know. It's, it's good. I do like that one. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then also, if you're going to do things with, with other fruits, like red fruits, you can pair this up to something like a Moscato. So a Moscato would totally work here. I love this little wine because it's two grapes, Brichetto and Moscato, $16. I love it. It's called Elio Perone. And it's just so delicious because it's light and it's frothy and it will cut through the chocolate again. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. I yeah. forgot that it was Moscato because it's yeah. it's real sweet. It's got some sweetness to yeah. it. But again, with dark chocolate and the fruit notes, those two things will come together to make little babies. Yeah, the little babies. <laughs> little babies. Little, yeah. little wine chocolate babies. Okay. Now, remember when you're at home and you're doing this, you have to bring the, so you're going to test this. You're going to take a little piece of the white chocolate. Yes, ma'am. And you're gonna keep it in your mouth. You're gonna make like a little swirly, uh, sw like s s whatever. <laughs> and you're gonna hold it, don't swallow. And then, um, <laughs> da -da, da -da, and you're gonna add some Pinot to that. What is all going on? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. So you wanna make sure that you get the two combinations together in your mouth at the exact same time. Does it work? What's supposed to happen? <laughs> No, you either it, like it or you don't. It's good. It's so good. So what And I don't love white chocolate. No. This makes white chocolate palatable to me. Right. Yeah. This is the weirdest combination of chocolates. Um, you know, we're not going to break the internet, Beyonce, but this is white chocolate and Pinot Noir are a match made in heaven. Just generally speaking. Generally speaking. You could pick up any Pinot People Noir. People will remember that. Go yes. get white chocolate and yes. a Pinot and you're good for, you know. For doing whatever. For doing stuff. Yeah, I yes. mean, making yeah, whatever you want to do. I don't, I, I don't care. It's your. Remember what I said earlier? You do you. Yeah. How go to Disney? You do you. Yeah. Okay. okay next. Another really good tip here is to always put Zinfandel and dark chocolate together. Okay. So those two things are always a match made in heaven. Then, if you're doing things like milk chocolate or like caramel chocolates. I love a little uh, Lambrusco, or I've brought on actually um, from this region before Bougie Cerdon, which is slightly sweet. This is what is it called? It's from the region of Bougie Cerdon. Is that that's not a place? It is, and it's real. Bougie Cerdon. <laughs>
<laughs> Ask me where I live. Where do you live, Jim? Thanks for asking. Bougie swear down. I swear to God. I want to live there. Now, what kind of chocolate should I drink with so my bougie swear you down? You could do this. We'll break you off a little piece of milk chocolate. With actually. my bougie swear down? Yes, with your bougie swear down. Only milk chocolate with the bougie swear down? I like milk chocolates with things that, are, so like a Lambrusco that's slightly sweet or a bougie swear down that you can find on the shelf that's slightly sweet. <laughs> bougie swear down. It's You're going to have so many people come into your shop going, may I have the bougie? Bougie swear down? Yes. Yeah. How much is the bougie swear down? This bougie swear down is around 25, but you, we so have another bougie. one. So it is bougie. It is yeah. kind of bougie. It is. Oh, that's good. But we have another one on the shelf for 20 bucks, and they're so delicious together. Okay. Bubbles will cut through chocolate, so remember that. But they do have to be kind of off dry or slightly sweet in order to cut through the chocolate. Bougie swear Leslie, give it up. <laughs> you can follow her on social media. Search for Amuse Wine. <laughs> Search for Amuse Wine and head to her website, sitbetter.com. We'll be right back. Back in a moment, everybody. Bougie Swear Don. Bougie Swear, Le Bougie Swear Leslie.